Here we have a trigger board, also known as a power drive board, for a PowerFlex 400 Allen Bradley VFD. On the bottom here, you can see that there was some electrical damage, specifically on these input power pins. You can actually see them marked R, S, T, which is our input power designations. And this makes us question all of the components in the circuit. Today, we will be specifically honing in on a component called a relay. A relay is an electromechanical switch. It has two sides to it. One side is a coil which pulls in a set of contacts. As you can see on this, the set of contacts are normally open, as explained on this diagram. Here you can see the coil. You can also see the ratings of the voltage to engage the coil in order to close this set of contacts. Testing this is what we will be doing today. So we will turn over the board and first go over an important step before powering on any relay. This step would not matter if this relay was taken out of circuit. Since we are testing it in a circuit, we must make sure to apply the positive voltage DC to the correct terminal as well as the negative voltage. This is because oftentimes there is a diode that is connected to these points. In this example, the diode is very evident, but in other circuits, it could be hidden from view. So here is a test that we perform using our Huntron tracker. We can put our Huntron leads and examine the waveform. By looking on a Huntron, we can see the different waveforms as we measure across the coil. This tells us that this side of the circuit is where we need to put our positive voltage. And this side of the circuit is where we need our negative voltage. So we will attach our leads so we can perform our test. So now we have our leads connected. Here we have our coil leads. We have positive, we have negative. And here we have our leads going to our meter. The meter will tell us if we have an open line or if it is closed or a short circuit. This is a normally open relay, which means when there is no power, this is normally open. So right here, this is good. If this is a normally open relay, and this would show a short, we knew that the contacts were fused and this was a bad relay. So now we will do our functional test. When we complete our circuit for power, which is our 28 volts, we should hear a beep and see this become short. And there you have it. The circuit is completed and this has become a short. We will do repetitive tests. To make sure the latching of the contacts is consistent. Now that we know this relay is good, we will move on to other components that may be bad on the circuit board. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.